Should Richard Nixon have been impeached? I do not believe so. Here's why. Richard Nixon got reelected in a landslide. One of the biggest electoral victories since George Washington ran virtually unopposed. Why? Richard Nixon ended the draft that the Democratic Party started. Richard Nixon ended the Vietnam War, which the Democratic Party started. Richard Nixon recognized China, which helped us to, to go to world peace for the last 50 years. Richard Nixon had signed the first SALT-1 agreement, which limited nuclear weapons proliferation with the Russians. Those are just four fantastic accomplishments by President Richard Nixon. What did the Democrats do? Not offer a better version of America, but what they did do was attack and attack and attack Richard Nixon and manage to get him to leave office. I don't know what Richard Nixon would have done with the last two years of his presidency, but it probably would have been very good for the United States and very good for the world, given the ending of the draft, the ending of the Vietnam War, the nuclear proliferation agreement, SALT-1 with the Russians, the recognizing of China. I think he had at least two more years worth of work for him to do, and then he was going to be gone anyways. What the Democrats did to Richard Nixon was criminal. I consider it a crime against democracy and a tragedy for America and the world because Richard Nixon turned out to be a very good statesman. Unfortunately, we will never know. Now, when you look at what the Democrats want to do to Donald Trump, Donald Trump may get reelected in a landslide like Richard Nixon. But the Democrats will try to do to Trump what they did to Nixon, which is destroy his second term. We have a peaceful democracy in the United States. That means you win an election, we let you do or try to implement whatever you ran on or, or tried to do without personally destroying that person. The Democrats have perfected the art of personal destruction and they framed Donald Trump for Russian collusion, which there's no evidence that he committed. I think it was a frame job by Hillary Clinton. They tried to push him towards war with Russia, which could have led to the death of everyone in the United States, almost everybody in Russia, and death to the majority of the people on planet Earth. Why? Because they're bitter that Hillary lost. Hillary lost because she stole the Democratic nomination from Bernie Sanders and then got caught and then was dumb enough not to put Bernie Sanders on the ticket. She also had a pedophile in her organization. Anthony Weiner got caught 11 days before the election. The Democratic pedophile Anthony Weiner was sending dick pics to a 16-year-old on a laptop with 100,000 Secretary of State emails on them. That came out 11 days before the election. If Sanders was on the ticket, I think she picks up some votes in Florida, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. And if Anthony Weiner wasn't sending dick pics to a 16-year-old playing, I'll show you mine if you show me yours, I think she picks up some votes in Pennsylvania, Florida, Michigan, and Wisconsin. But she, Sanders wasn't on the ticket, and Anthony Weiner was dry-humping a laptop with Hillary Clinton's emails on them. Those are two major factors in why she lost. Nothing to do with Russian collusion, nothing to do with Vladimir Putin, and nothing that was the fault of Donald Trump. Even though she and the major media have been trying to frame Donald Trump as an excuse for her loss. And I think you're going to see more of that in Trump's second term. Remember, Richard Nixon should not have been impeached. And neither should Donald Trump. He should be allowed to finish out his first term and his second term in peace. And then, constitutionally, he can't run for a third term. And we get to move on. But Richard Nixon should have been given a full second term. And Donald Trump should be allowed to give the American people what they want, which is a full Trump presidency. You're listening to MyPresidentTrump.us. I'm a Republican political consultant. Hit that like button, hit that share button, and hit that little bell. I'm here to protect 
democracy from the Democratic Party. Thank you.